Hello, my name is Nigel Palmer, and I'm the author of the book, The Regenerative Grower's Guide to Garden Amendments. I'd like to put a program together that shows people how they can make a garden starting from grass or turf uh, using no-till methods. How do you start a garden from grass? So I'd like to break it down into four steps. The first is actually preparing the grass itself so that the grass breaks down and creates a soil environment that you can plant something in. The second step will be actually planting potatoes in that garden space. The third step will be harvesting those potatoes. And the fourth step will be preparing that new garden space for winter and the following year. So let's start with the first step, preparing grass for a garden bed. This is the space that I'm going to turn into a garden. Um, in fact, what I'm doing here is making my existing garden just a little bit wider. And this space is about maybe six feet by 20 feet. And it is right now grass. And this is in October. And what we're going to see is change this grass space into a garden space. And the first thing we'll do is mineralize this and put about 12 inches of hay on it in an effort to kill the grass, but nurture the soil at the same time. This is another garden space that I was expanding. And first thing I did is I laid out the space with some poles so I had an idea of what I was doing. And you can see in this picture, I have begun to sprinkle minerals um, onto the soil. I've done a soil test of my landscape so I know what uh, macro minerals are needed. And um, I have sourced those by going to lo local quarries and uh, gathered some basalts and some calcium carbonate. Um, I also purchased some gypsum from a quarry. So I have a very, very fine gypsum included. And so the first thing I'm doing is putting down a layer of minerals in the area that I want to turn into a garden. In this view, you can see I have completed the mineralization process uh, in the entire space. And now I'm gonna add about nine to 12 inches of hay on this entire space. Now you can see the entire area is both mineralized and covered with nine to 12 inches of hay. And I'll leave it this way for about six to nine months. In that six to nine month period, I'll water this and also feed it biology, uh, leaf mold biology, um, IMO4, and I'll also add minerals to the space as well. And then after six to nine months, I will plant potatoes. This is the proposed new garden space in November. It's roughly six feet by 25, 20 feet. And it's grass, all grass. This is the garden space in December. The minerals and hay have been added to the space and it will sit through the winter. I will add minerals to it and biology to it for the next six to nine months. There's a video on my YouTube channel called Rock Dust Application with Simple Map. In this video, you can actually see the space that I'm transforming from grass to a garden, um, have minerals amended to it uh, partway through the six to nine month period. Take a look. The next thing that I'll do is actually plant potatoes on this space. I like to use potatoes as the first thing I plant in a new garden space because I'm actually digging a hole about a foot and a half by a foot deep. I'm digging up that soil and, and mixing it up. And I also have the opportunity to add amendments uh, to that soil when I plant those potatoes. Also, when I harvest the potatoes, I again have that hole and I add 
minerals and compost uh, to that uh, space at the end. So in the course of a year, um, not only I have, have I turned the grass into a soil and broken down that sod, but I've also planted something to feed the uh, biology in the soil and then made uh, essentially little compost piles within each of those holes. So after one year and this growing season, um, I've, I'm left with uh, a pretty nice garden space. After that, I will add more mulch or a cover crop on top of that. Uh, and so at the end of a one year cycle, um, I have had the opportunity to put several uh, uh, sources of, of carbon and um, minerals onto that garden space. So that's the end of part one, preparing the grass. And stay tuned for parts two, three, and four, where we'll talk about planting the potatoes, harvesting the potatoes, and preparing the bed for the following year.